The Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade may cause Missou Missourians to head toward neighboring states. ABC 17's Marina Diaz joins us in studio tonight. Marina, you spoke with Missouri politicians about what this could mean for Missouri women looking for legal abortions and how this could affect low-income benefit programs. Lucas, now that Missouri has immediately banned abortions in the state, Missouri women may seek abortions from neighboring sanctuary states. I spoke with House representatives on both sides who told me that they hope this will happen they hope this will happen for Missouri women seeking abortions and what we could see happen with benefits. Missouri banned most abortions in the state following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, which means that women in Missouri cannot receive an abortion unless it's a medical emergency. Republican House of Representative David Gregory says people may cross the border to get one. I think you will see people going to bordering states like Illinois in the event they need an abortion. Gregory told me that Republicans are looking at ways to prevent this from happening. But um, there's also been talk already here in Missouri as to whether or not we can, um, we can affect Missourians, citizens, even if they go to another state, whether or not we can affect uh, their ability to do it legally as well. Democratic House of Representative Ashley Ahn says that more Missourians will likely head to neighboring states. Um, I think that we're going to see what a lot of people are um, calling sanctuary states. Ashley told me that she doesn't believe Republicans can criminalize people's right to an abortion out of state, but she does say those lawmakers will try. Ahn also said that Missouri could see an increase of families utilizing low-income benefits. We're going to see a lot of low-income um, folks forced onto the government's dime uh, because they are being forced to incubate and give birth to children against their will. Gregory says he doesn't think Missouri taxpayers will mind. Which I can tell you, certainly in a, in a state like Missouri, uh, we would be proud to assist uh, the, the life of a child that would otherwise be unborn. I don't think you're going to see any hesitation there. Last year, the Department of Health and Senior Services reported that $22.7 million were given to families through temporary assistance payments. Now, in 2020, Missouri had 167 recorded abortions in the state, and 3,391 Missouri residents received abortions out of state. That's according to the Department of Health and Senior Services.